Okay, so good morning and good day po sa ating lahat, STEM people, for our discussion about uh, mitigation strategy na uh, meron po tayo sa linggong pong ito. Ay tatalakayin po natin yung pinaka-mitigation and adaptation action or strategy po about natural hazards. Technical din po na makita po natin that last mga na-discuss po natin the past, past week po ay about um, the geological hazard which is from different type of earthquake, no? different type of hazard under geologic hazard which is the earthquake, no? the landslide, mudslide, and then even yung tinatawag po natin volcanic hazard po. No? And then makatutukoy din po natin dito kung pinakaangkop po no pagdating po sa tinatawag po natin natural hazard. Pag tinatawag po kasi natural hazard, it's more technical po na mas isipin po natin na eh. hindi lang pala ito pong geologic hazard. Maaaring through in kind of hydrometeorological hazard. But no, makikita po natin doon po sa Q4 SIM number 2, eh, si mitigation strategy na po o mitigation action na po yung tinutukoy po noon bago tayo mag-hydrometeorological hazard. Kasi the hydrometeorological hazard is a kind of natural po eh. No? It's a natural hazard po. So given to think po na mas mapag-usapan muna po natin yung tukoy po about mitigation and adaptation or mitigation eh, strategy or mitigation action. Tapos po, maaari din po natin mapansin, no? pag tinawag po natin mitigation and adaptation, ito po yung maaari Um, factor din po, no, isang aspeto po, kung tinatalakay po natin, tinatawag po natin risk assessment. Sige po, next slide lang po tayo. Ang meaning po ng hazard mitigation, ang sabi po sa, dun sa dalawa po nating source, ang sabi po dito is action taken to reduce or eliminate long-term risk to people and property from natural hazard and their effects. And then pangalawa po, that the hazard mitigation is the pre-impact actions that provide passive protection at the time of disaster impact. So, ang kopo po dito na nakadepende pa rin po sa readiness po ng isang area o location na maaari pong magkaroon ng factor yung tinatawag po natin um, epekto doon sa mismong mga community o people and property from galing sa natural hazard at gaano ito mga ka-efekto. Mas iisipin po natin yung tinatawag po natin selective empathy or tinatawag po natin dilemma. No? Yung po kasing dilemma or selective empathy, mas angkop po kasi na iniisip po natin na paano ba umaksyon, paano ba magkaroon ng isang aksyon ang isang lokasyon magkaroon ng isang action ang isang area para maangkop nila yung bagay po pagdating sa isang hazardous event. No? So mamaya po, mapag-uusapan po natin iyon. Uh, we have types of mitigation action no? o mitigation strategy po na pwede po natin mapansin in through ups and down. We have hazard source control, community protections work, and land use practices. Maari po dito sa unang tatlo po na naibigay po natin ay ang po kung paano po tayo magkaroon ng mitigate factor o mitigate action po pagdating kay natural hazard. Ang sabi po kay hazard source control, we have generally referred to technological hazards and fire hazard. Controlling fire or fire suppression to fuel controls. We have kind of chemical using non-toxic chemical, preventing leaks or reducing quantities, etc. etc. So, doon po sa tatlong sample po ni hazard source control, doon pa lang po sa pinaka-key part pa po niya, talaga pong nakadepende pa rin po doon sa isang area o sa people na isang community na maari silang makapag-control ng isang bagay para magkaroon ng Uh, low risk, no? magkaroon ng isang bagay po pagdating sa ikaka-resulta doon sa ating um, disaster or natural hazard na pwede pong mag-re. 
Next po natin, community protections work or community protection works. It usually refers to major public safety works, dams, rivers, landslide, or even the industrial hazard controls. So, ito po yung isang bagay po na pwede po natin isama pagdating po kay community protection works. Next po, we have land use practices. Pag tinawag pong land use practices, it's acquisition of land or development rights zoning subdivision or zoning subdivisions regulations tax incentives then cities bonuses maari po makita po natin dito kung maari po tayo makamitigate strategy or kind of action into different types of measure sorry implemented through risk communication incentive and sanctions so ito po yung unang tatlo po na meron tayo sa mitigation action next po we have type of building construction practices and natural resources or resource preservation and restoration. Sa building construction practices po, kung mapapansin po natin, nandito yung tinatawag po natin special utility codes, retrofitting programs, structural protections from flood, wind, seismics or seismic wave, building codes and strengthening components. Dito po, mapapansin po natin, no, mamidigate yung isang bagay pagdating po sa tinatawag po nating building construction. Kasi po, nakadepende pa rin po talaga sa construction o sa paggawa ng isang bagay na pwede itong magkaroon ng proof, no, magkaroon ng ngayon, earthquake proof, magkaroon ng tinatawag nating uh, flood proof, no, parang mapapansin po natin na hindi siya risky pagdating ng tinatawag natin sa mga, na mga iba-ibang type of natural hazard. We have natural resource preservation and restorations, preserving and restoring natural resources and the services. They provide wetlands, revegetation, and reforestation, the protection from dawn, protected um, habitat areas. Iisipin po natin dito, um, ito yung tawag po natin, the environmental degradation. The environmental degradation is can influence the type of mitigation or mitigate action or strategy in terms of natural resource preservation and restoration. No? Iba-iba po ito ang top. Kaya po mapapansin po natin, na nakadepende pa rin po talaga sa dilemma o selective empathy na tinatawag po natin. No? Paano po kaya yung selective empathy? Ano po kaya yung tinatawag po natin um, dilemma ng mga iba-ibang tao? Kasi nakadepende po sa kanila iyon. No? Next po natin, last part po ito, ita isa tayo, uh, another types of mitigation strategy reactions that we have. We have a risk communication, education and outreach, and social infrastructures development. Marami po itong bagay na mas makita po natin pagdating sa education. No? Targeting po, sabi nga dito, targeting accurate risk and vulnerable or vulnerability assessment. Not again to think that another assessment to have a basic risk assessment to identify what policy option that we provide for a one community or, or, or one area. Mas isipin po natin that a kind of targeted and accurate risk and vulnerability assessment, assessment in terms of kind of education, to educate people, to educate the, the community, you know, the, 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 the leader on the one community. So, iisipin po natin paano sa pamamanan. And then, an assign, um, that to educate the public on different hazard, hazard disclosure for property, and comprehensive education programs within school. Napakainan po na nakita po natin dun sa pang-apat po, dun sa risk communication, education, and outreach, the comprehensive education programs within school. The teacher, the student, the leader, that we have to think more influencer to other people na makita po natin na napakahalaga po ng sapat at higit na edukasyon 
na dapat po meron tayo pagdating po sa tinatawag po nating mga natural na pwede po maka-disaster po sa atin. And last one po, social infrastructure development, the community and neighborhood based organizations, vulnerable populations organizations, promoting non-profits and other community based organizations that address chronic vulnerabilities issues like food banks, women's shelters, etc. The partnerships and reciprocal agreements, the intra and intercommunity, the housing programs, maintenance and equitable neighborhood infrastructure improvements and maintenance. So, ito po yung bagay po. No? We have uh, different types of mitigation, strategy, or action na pwede po natin malaman pagdating po sa mga different types of natural hazard. Maaari po kasi ito from geologic hazard, pwede ito natural from biologic hazard, no? pwede itong kind of hydrometeorological hazard, no? pwede rin po itong mapansin po natin kind of atmospheric, no? to kind of atmospheric, the two elements, the single and combined elements. So, mahi, mainam po na tayo po lahat po ay nakakaintindi po sa bagay po ng ginatawag po natin, mitigation, action, or mitigation strategy. So, yun po yung mapag-uusapan po at napag-uusapan po natin pong linggo na ito about po doon sa ating napag-uusapan about the natural hazard, mitigation, and adaptation. So, yun po lahat yun, mga anak. Dapat po tayong lahat ay aware po sa ilang bagay na dapat po natin nalalaman pagdating po sa bagay po ng natural hazard. Yun lamang po at sa linggo po ito, masagutan po natin yung SIM number 2 or Q4 SIM number 2 about the mitigation strategy. And ang deadline po noon ay tuwing viernes, alas 5 po na. So maraming salamat po. God bless po sa ating lahat at palagi po tayo.